Sup, you fuckers! Hey, your boy in your kayak, I waited for my dumb howly friend! Carry his ass up! He gonna pick me up, he on truck, I don't want truck. I was on Craigslist and somebody had one. I, I messaged him on email and then I was like, oh, is your kayak still available? And he was like, 700 firm. I was like, oh shit. We didn't even get there yet, but okay, I got you. <laughs> he must have dealt with some shit, that guy. But anyways, I'm about to get me. Bro, your boy didn't step up his game. You guys ready for this? That's so funny because Jesse, that fucker, he got a kayak already, dog. Chip it out. He just came back from, um... The military first thing he did is bought him a truck and he got him on kayak and he caught him on kagami already i was like oh your boy slacking it's fucking on kayak before me you know what i gotta get one too so plan is pick me up on kayak both could be out both could be fucking you know what i mean hooking up me <laughs> but yeah you fuckers you guys are at it i wonder how that guy go feel about recording him huh too bad so i'll show him these fucking apples right there what was that what what'd you say I like this kayak free, fucking clown. How about that? Huh? Left hook? What? No, play. Yeah, he's there. Fucking Halle boy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, he's not messing around. Oh, look him, look him. Oh, his fucking truck looking good. How's it, my brother? Oh, you get the steps. I gotta climb in this fucker. Oh, I feel like my little skis are getting picked up in one fucking Tacoma. Oh, you get cologne on? You is a little sad. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, how's the ride now after the lift? It feels, honestly, the suspension I got, the BDS suspension, it feels soft for the most part. Oh, that's good. It, it feels pretty good. Okay, we fucking out. About to get the yaki. <laughs> I even need look behind. Flexion. All right, I'll see you guys at the fucking spot. <laughs> How we looking, boys? All your comments on this video is just gonna be about my truck, bro. <laughs> For real, huh? How we looking, boys? Part of the scupper gang. Just ready for fucking silly, boys. Ready for cow cow all of that. <laughs> yeah, boys, all stoked. Okay, so boom. We got the kayak. So the thing is, I went with the Scupper Pro. I don't know too much about kayaks, but what I do know is like all the hammers from Hawaii, they all use scuppers, you know what I mean? So common sense will tell you, if you don't know what to get, you might as well go with all what the pros are using, you know what I mean? So I got the Scupper Pro. Unfortunately, the scuppers, they don't come with pole holders. So I have to go and order some. What I did, I went to, um, I went on Amazon, I ordered a couple of pole holders, and my friend Jesse came over, he helped me install it. Yeah, hey, you guys ready? Got my boy Jesse Seppi with me again. Here to help your boy out. That's how you know this is legit. Bring it out. Now there you go. Measure. This is what you need. Legit measurements, radio. Right, I'm going three. Jesse's cord. Jesse's cord. Goes this again. Three. That like about three from the. Whoa, this one has the fucking one eighths and all that. That's a good one. So every ruler has. No, they don't. I promise you right now, dog. You get to see. Some of them we gotta count on your own. Okay, so right now we're just marking the spot to where we're gonna put this. It's getting pretty accurate, you got a good idea. These are two different sizes. The one that your dad just bought. Yeah, I used the two inch on mine, but there's a little bigger than we needed to do. What, mine? He's a boy, mine. Gotta get this out of my face, huh? I got a gap. <laughs> Come on, Dada, smooth shine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find the lyrics. What did he say? I have no idea what he says. Damn. Jesse been mocking me a whole week just to do this. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How hard is this? How hard is this to do? Look how happy I am. Look, that's all you literally have to do. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, the manna right so there. Watch out for your. See how your thing runs through it? That's for your. What is that for? Rudders. All the rudders, mm. yeah. Did you cut it, you I fool? I didn't cut it, but you gotta be mindful of that because it was right there. Way better. Yeah, way better. Way better. Should do that from the get. Bop.
One more time. Pop. Pop. Okay, boom. You get that done. Like silicone the hole. What's up, monkeys? What's up, bro? What's up? They're killer. Okay. Just jizz the rim a little bit. Jizz on the rim. Nice. <laughs> that looks yeah. hilarious. The 8 inch on. You're forgetting your stuff. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That looks familiar to Jeremy, eh? <laughs> Jesse! You let me know as soon as I'm already in there. Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> is he good for? Kind of fruit, you back out. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I did the marks on the outside, so. Maybe we can do it Tuesday, depending on how my classes go. He was sitting here Tuesday, yeah. 7 a.m. with his phone. I wonder if he's going to This one is pretty good. Honestly, main thing is you get, you know, your watertight uh, seal from the silicone. Silicone is just the extra, you know, insurance that no water can get into your kayak. Yeah, that's how you did, Blaze. So, now that we got the pole holders installed, the next thing we needed to do is we needed jigging rods. So, we headed to Roy's Fish Supply to see what they had. What's up, you fathers? Now we gotta pick out the poles. Which one, you guys? Bruh boys, how's that dumb mask? Honestly, I never know that was the kid's mask. I just reach it to the glove real quick. Boom, slap him on my face. Walk it to Royce. I never realized that was a fucking kid's mask. I look like a dumb clown of you. That look like the front of my girlfriend's tongue. Oh, 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 I might get one of these. Conventional and then... That's alright, that's spinner. Yeah, you ready to make some moves, right? Mm-hmm. It just came out of Royce. Got the rods for the kayak, and boys ready, ready to get ready for get in there, huh? That's what we get at night. Let's go, dog. We're not, we're not messing. We're not coming in and messing. Slay some ahi. <laughs> What's up, you feckers? It's five in the morning. Oh, I'm tired. I didn't get that much sleep last night. Uh, I only slept like a couple hours. Oh, I just want to sleep. My friend is um Jesse Bye. He's headed to my house soon. We're gonna meet up at my car. Yeah. Hey, Jesse Bye. Red. Just another howler. Pop the juice. Cody got me Let's fucking go. See fuckers in the water. <laughs> Okay, so the game plan was we headed out. Jesse has a fish finder, so we looked for the pile of opelus. We tried to catch some, but unfortunately, none of them were biting. I guess for opelus, you gotta go early in the morning, like pretty much when it's like still dark, like as soon as the sun starts rising, you gotta be out there already. By the time we got there, it was I guess it was a little too late. They just weren't biting. Uh, good thing Jesse had, um, he brought some dead opelus. So we have to go to plan B. We have to use some dead opelus. He gave me one. I hooked it up to my line. Uh, I sent it out and then I started trolling. Keep your rudders up, huh? 
after trolling for like maybe about what felt like maybe half an hour going back and forth uh no bites at all i didn't get no bites so i told myself you know i was like you know what i'm gonna try a different approach what i did was i did what my friend rob his dad kind of like showed me what you do is you let your line hit the bottom of the water once it hits the bottom you lock your bail or whatever and then you lift and then you just you keep hitting the ground you keep tapping the ground no shit royce it's gonna cause like the sand or whatever or you know what i mean it's gonna cause it to kind of like like scoop some ass i don't know like it's gonna it's gonna get the fish curious it's kind of like padding sand but you're using the lead you know what i mean you guys know what, you guys know what i'm talking about so i started doing it that way instead and i swear i it was only like um uh, i the first couple pats on the ground boom something hooked up just like that Like spin. All right, so straight up, I'm a jackass. Like I'm not used to. Look, I, I dive a little more than I fish, right? Uh, ever since I bought my conventional reel, I probably just caught like me small stuff, papillos. You know what I mean? I would be able to manhandle. You know what I mean? I could just I used to. Manna, I could get them right in, but this was something heavy, and I was trying to like pull it in, and it wasn't really reeling in. It was like it was spinning, but not moving anywhere. And I was just kind of confused for a second. You know, like I said, I'm a jackass. I'm kind of new to that. You know what I mean? I'm a little new to this, not true to this when it comes to conventional reels. But um, with that being said, I kind of figured it out afterwards. So, yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's running. I did. <sighs> bro, this thing don't like turn, bro. I don't know what's wrong with my reel. Huh? It's not. I guess when you get tension, can I reel up, huh? When you get tension, kind of reel up. Okay, that's probably what it is. I'm not used to conventional, so I... Oh, fuck. Bruh, did you guys see that? I don't know, it's like the drag was too tight or something. I don't know, but like, the, you see that pole bend? It bent so hard, it was like on the kayak. Honestly, I was scared. I'm not even gonna lie. I was scared. It, I had to use the, had to use mana. I was holding that thing. Oh, it bent so far. And I don't know, the drag didn't wanna, it was like too tight. I don't know, maybe I locked it too hard. But I thought I was gonna fall in, straight up. I thought I was gonna fall in. I, I was scared. I, I'll be the first to admit, it. I was scared. All I was thinking is like, I'm not trying to fall over on this. Oh, bro, this is my first time on a kayak. Out in the middle of the ocean. I thought I was gonna fall in. It was nuts. But it was fun though, you know what I mean? Still on. Cousin, <laughs> let's go. Alright boys, so a couple things I learned from um, reeling for, I swear what felt like a couple days straight. So I was probably fighting this thing for maybe like 40 minutes and one of the things I'll do differently next time is I'll make sure my gun is probably like out of the way, like maybe I'll put it in the back next time. There was a couple times when like the line would, it, it caught a hold of um, my gun clip and I couldn't, I couldn't imagine what would have happened if like it ran while it was connected to my clip like that would have been like messed up i mean i probably would have fell in i probably would have lost my gun so next time i put my gun in the back another thing that was kind of like scary was like uh it would be like running and i'll be like yanking it you know what i mean and then 
it would just all of a sudden it would just stop running really quick so i'll be pulling like using all my back muscle and everything i'll be pulling and it would stop and i'll, I'll you know what i mean and you're on like a little kayak trying to balance so like once it would stop i'll kind of be off balance that was stupid another stupid part was when i i tried to use my foot to move my gun and that almost fell in that was stupid i'll never do that again um and besides that i kind of learned how to fight it better I, next time i watch me bang this fuck I, I i'll fight it better next time you know what i mean Okay guys, at this point, I was fighting this thing for maybe about 40 minutes. I'm starting to have doubt in my head. My body hurts, my arm hurts, I'm tired. The whole time there's tension on the pole, I can't relax. I'm sitting on a little kayak. My friend Jesse, I can tell he's kind of like, you know what I mean, hurry it up, you know what I mean? After I make like a lot of progress, it would run. All that yanking and all that pulling for nothing, it'll run and I'm like, oh, I gotta do this again. So anyway, my body was hurting. And in my head, I was thinking maybe I should cut this thing. But in the back of my head, if I cut this line, I feel like a little bitch. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm, I'm quitting. Go through the pain and just at least bring it to where you can see what it is. I, I wouldn't want to go home wondering like, oh, what was it? What was it? You know what I mean? So I got the bite around 200 feet. It dragged us past 700 feet. But I'm like, fuck it. I got to I gotta see what it is. I just got to see what it is. You know what I mean? So I kept fighting. Jesse boy just some drop on a pillow. Put my head in and try bottom fish with the taco. Okay, so right away I spotted this taco, so boom, I go down and you know how I do it guys, I told you guys before, I just I just finesse them right out the hose. That's how I do it. I don't go crazy, but still just a little finesse they come right out.
Okay, so this taco is kind of on a smaller side, so I decided to let it go. So, what I be doing lately is, whenever I let a taco free, I make sure I swim down and kind of like make sure it gets to its hole safely. Because if not, all the hoggies and all the fish, they'll see it and they'll just start mobbing them. They'll just start like eating the shit out of them. Because like fish, they eat octopus, right? And whenever the taco is coming down from the top of the water, trying to swim to its hole, like they're noticeable. They're not camouflaged. The fish can see them. So they just start mobbing them. I seen it happen before. I felt kind of bad. So now I make sure I scare like ready right to look them. Get out of here, boy. Chasing the hoggies away. Because my thing is, it's like if I'm going to let a taco free, it's not so the fish can eat them. If that was the case, I would have ate them myself. So that's just kind of what I do. Whenever I let them free, I just make sure they get in the hole, right? Okay, so right there I was swimming and I seen something in the water. I was like, hey, what is that? That thing don't look really normal. I'm not used to seeing that. So I was like, well, let, let me see what that is. So I started swimming down. I was like, hey, it's like a mouse shoes. I think this will mask. I guess somebody would drop them and they couldn't hit the depth. You know what I mean? I bet they hit the depth. So I guess they just abandoned it. But I mean, the good thing about being able to dive deep is uh, you get to squat sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, not too much action was going on, so we decided, you know, we just gonna head in already. Just got out the water, baby. Got a jazz. Monoslayer call me in. Oh, so fun. What, next time? What are we doing? Next time we're cutting the line when we know it's a shark. <laughs> okay, we're about to load up the trucks and head home. Nothing much today, but we try again. Fucking good fun, I swear. What's going on, you fuckers? Okay, so I just got back to the house. I'm tired. Only had two hours of sleep. We went 1,000 feet deep. I'm tired now. I just gotta rinse everything off. Um, yeah, I mean, for my first time kayak fishing, bruh, all I gotta say is that shit is fun as hell. Um, no fish today, but that shark was killer. I mean, catching that shark was good fun, man. Oh, man, it's your fucking bites, huh? Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys like that episode. Shoot, you fan, cause. Okay, so that is it for that episode. Um, I didn't catch no fish. That was my first time ever kayak fishing. But, um, you know, I was close to not even putting out that video. I was thinking, like, oh, I don't know if anybody would want to watch this. Because all I caught was on shark and uh, a taco. And I was thinking, like, I don't know if that's enough action for you guys. You know what I mean? But um, you guys want me to show the good and the bad. You know what I mean? The days where I don't really catch much. I can do that too, you know what I mean? I just figure out, I wait and I, I try to put all the action into one video. But the problem with that is sometimes it takes kind of long. And that's the thing about fishing too, like, you know, not all the time you catch. If you guys just want to see like the, just like the daily vlog lifestyle, then I can put that out too, you know what I mean? It's easier to be consistent that way. Anyways, I just want to get that off my chest. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Like grandma always said, ahoy ho, take care.